Hey, we're on the boat and we've got a project to do. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is Captain Frank with the ship's log and this is going to be project day on the boat today. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing a cleat uh, up on the bow next to my windlass. So I need to have an additional safety line that I want to connect to that cleat to make sure that that anchor uh, does not come loose when I'm running across the lake. And of course, many of you probably know that when you are anchored, you don't want the full brunt, the full pressure of uh, your anchor being on the windlass itself. So you actually have to have a way to secure that, relieve that pressure from the windlass. So we're gonna install a cleat up there in order to do that. So let me show you what I'm gonna be using today. The first thing, of course, is the actual cleat. So this is a cleat that I ordered uh, that is the right size for my boat. Um, unfortunately, it did not come with a back plate. I have no idea why they will sell you a cleat and they don't give you a back plate. When you install a cleat, you need to have a back plate. Just a couple of um, nuts or small washers is not going to be enough to make sure that that cleat is secure to your deck. So what I had to do is the first thing I did is I actually took some cardboard and I made a template. Uh, I'm going to be using that template to drill my holes up on the, on the bow later on today, but I also use this template to create a back plate. So this is the back plate that I actually purchased, or not purchased, but I actually made. But I basically purchased a, a, a nice uh, thick bar of steel, cut it down to size, drilled my holes in it uh, that are actually going to match up with the cleat itself. This is the back plate that I'm using ever installing a cleat, make sure that you do have an adequate back plate to make sure that cleat is secure on your deck. Uh, and of course, I've got to have the stainless steel bolts. Again, stainless steel, you don't want to use anything else. You are talking about a marine environment. You don't want that stuff rusting. So um, stainless steel bolts of the appropriate size to go through your hole and connect, you also want that. Uh, I'm going to be putting uh, some thread lock uh, on the threads of my bolts uh, just to make sure that they don't come loose uh, over time. So a little bit of thread lock, not necessarily a requirement, but I do think it's a good idea. Also, of course, some marine grade silicone because once you do uh, connect that cleat or you seat that cleat on that uh, on that deck there you want to make sure that it's nice and sealed you don't want water seeping down in there uh, and getting things all soggy and causing some damage so and of course I've got my drill with me that I'm going to be using to drill the holes and uh, it's pretty much it shouldn't be too hard of a job so come along with us and let's get to work okay so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be installing this cleat right about here Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the template I created and I'm going to mark my hole. So I'm going to use my pin cap to do a little bit of measuring here to make sure that I'm pretty consistent. to do the scary part that's drilling holes in your boat all right now it's time to drill of course you want to drill as straight as you can you want to make sure that you keep the drill uh, 
perpendicular or the drill bit uh, perpendicular to the surface. So, here we go. One. <laughs> There's two. Okay, so my two holes are coming in here and here, so I've got my black plate on, a couple of washers on there, and my bolts, and I'm gonna push them up through these holes, which might take a little bit. Oh, maybe not too bad, all right. And of course, ooh, they're not gonna wanna stay up there by themselves. Can I do something to just wedge it up there? <laughs> Just to hold it there until I can. All right, that actually might do it. All right, so now some of the cleats, of course, they, you push the bolts in from the top down. And obviously you're going to go the opposite direction if that's the case. But this particular one, the bolts actually go up into the bottom of the cleat. So you push the bolts up. I've got my back plate on there. And now we're going to go back up top and we're going to go ahead and put the sealant on. The, the silicone sealant on. Uh, we'll put some of um, the thread lock on the bolts and hopefully we can get them uh, screwed up into the bottom of the cleat without too much of a problem. So let's go. Okay, so now we've got the bolts uh, pushing up through here from the bottom there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some thread lock on each one of them. Something just to kind of help ensure they stay tight. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put the silicone sealant on the bottom of the cleat itself. So once we put it down on the deck, then everything is going to be nice and sealed. Not to lay any rain, moisture, or anything like that in. You can be liberal with this because once you've set it up, you can always cut off the excess after it's cured so that it looks nice and neat so there's not a problem with that. Hold on, the front one's not getting yet. Okay, try to keep going. Front one. Okay, it's also biting. That's good. Okay, now we got both of them biting, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit more silicone here. It looks like I didn't put enough right here. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down below and uh, get them all nice and tight and we're going to be done. Alright, so now we're just going to 
tighten everything up. That looks like that could use some more spacers because oh maybe let me well, actually maybe not maybe tight. Yeah that actually could use a, a few more spacers because because of the slope of the deck uh, it wasn't quite as much length here as here and either a shorter bolt or more spacers one or the other and so, let me see if I have more washers. All right, let's put it back in there. Bingo! Got the cleat installed, a nice back plate here, nice and tight. Let's go up top and see what it looks like. Now that's a cleat. We are all done. Now, rather than having this mess of line like this, that I have been using for my anchor snub, And of course, I'm going to have to cut this and make it a little shorter because it no, doesn't need to be this long. Now, I can basically just do this. It frees up more space from each one of these cleats. I don't have all this messy line running across my bow. Uh, and I have a solution that is here just to make sure that I'm keeping my anchor line secure. So looks a lot neater, works a lot better. So let me know, what do you think? Was it worth doing? Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, it's not really that hard in my opinion, but let me know what you think I could have done a better job. If you think it could have been easier doing it a different way. Uh, or you think this is something that you'd like to tackle yourself. Uh, as usual, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. It does really do a lot for my YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget to share with anybody who you think might be interested. Until next time, happy boating.